Bernard Hopkins versus Sergey Kovalev. I just watched the weigh-in. Kovalev weighs in at 174 and a half pounds. Hopkins weighs at 173 and a half pounds. Um, both under the 175 pound limit. Um, both guys look like they're ready. Um, you could say Hopkins probably made the weight easier, but uh, anyway, um, what do you call it? This is for the WBA, WBO, and IBF titles. Hopkins got the IBF and WBA super title. Kovalev has the WBO title, and they're gonna fight for those three titles. One one man is probably gonna is gonna leave the title, leave the ring with three titles, unless it's a draw or something. But then they both retain each of their titles. But anyway, I actually was working out during like the the way in started at three. I was working out. And I was watching actually the press conference, the final press conference, and then the time went by and I kind of, it, um, what do you call it? It was three, like, it was past 310 and then I went on the live stream and I was waiting and it was fight after fight. I'm like, wow, they got a lot of fights on. I was, I was thinking, yeah, they were just playing all, like, all the fights, like, if you're going to be there in person, like, all, in the entire card. And then the stream ended, they didn't even get, they just said, get uh don't miss the fight tomorrow and i must have missed the weigh in in that 10 minutes they must have did that fight like really quick right when the stream came on they must have like put them on the stage so i had to pretty much find the fight and uh i had to find someone posted it actually really quickly so i watched it there so i didn't i didn't watch that weigh in live really i watched the whole other card, but not that one. So I was kind of just telling you what happened there. But actually, hold on one sec, guys. Hey, hey. It's my dogs. Sorry, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, anyway, someone was at the door or going in my driveway or something. I don't know, but anyway, no one came to the door, though. But anyway, so I was kind of waiting. I watched the whole way in, like, 40 minutes. Didn't even see it live, so I had to find it anyway. But anyway, my prediction for... Oh, yeah, the face-off. Okay, the face-off, it kind of... In the video I watched it, it cut off to the part where they're standing off and Sergey Kovalev's, like, looking down like this. And Hopkins is just like following him with his eyes and he's just like this, like he's kind of pretending he's scared or something like that. But um, Kovalev isn't scared. Hopkins isn't scared. They're both very confident. Like I said, if you're a boxer, you shouldn't be scared. If you're intimidated by someone, you shouldn't be boxing. But anyway, especially these two guys, they are not intimidated by each other. And we're going to get a good fight. Um, so the stare down was pretty good. After he was doing this thing, they stared down like intensely. And, um, yeah, so my prediction for this fight, Kovalev, I think he will knock out Hopkins and it could be possibly an easy night for Kovalev. It could possibly end early. That's what's so good about this fight. You don't know what's going to happen, really. Sergey Kovalev knocks out every one of his opponents. Hopkins has never been knocked out. So someone's record has to go in that sense for not being knocked out or not knocking out someone. So... Um, what do you call it? Um, I'm go my prediction for this fight is Sergey Kovalev will win by knockout in the middle rounds, and I think he's just his punches are so strong they'll go right through the guard of they'll go right through the guard of Bernard Hopkins, and um, it doesn't even matter if he if it doesn't hit him cleanly or if he blocks it, it's still gonna hurt Hopkins. And Sergey Kovalev is a very good body puncher too. If he catches Bernard Hopkins to the body, he's going to test that 50-year-old body frame for sure. But we all know we can't, cut, we can't count Hopkins out. Stylistically, a lot of people say Hopkins, maybe this was better for him. He likes a guy like this. Um, we've seen what he did to Shumanoff uh, earlier last year, um, or this year, I think previously what he did to Shumanov, but Shumanov is no Kovalev. Kovalev has a trainer. Kovalev is a destructive force. And de definitely, 
way different than Shimonov. Kovalev is, and um, but Kovalev's never faced anyone with the experience of Hopkins and the skill of Hopkins. So that's the thing you got to worry about. Um, and um, if Hopkins can pull it off, that'd be incredible for sure. But he's got to do a lot of holding. He's got to do a lot of running. And he's got to use that jab because if he doesn't do any of those things, if he tries slugging, obviously we know he's going to lose. If he tries staying on the ropes too long, he's going to lose. But even maybe the holding and running will still not be enough and he'll still get knocked out. Hopkins def definitely has a chance of winning this fight, but obviously it's by decision. But I am going for Kovalev by knockout in the middle rounds. I just don't think Bernard Hopkins can take the punches of a destroyer like Kovalev at this point. Maybe even when Hawkins in his prime, who knows? Kovalev is definitely, he's one of the most feared men in boxing for a reason. He's such a powerful punch. It goes right through your guard. And he, he's just like what I described. He's, he's like a steamroller. That thing that rolls on the concrete. He just runs over you. So my prediction, Kovalev by knockout, mid round, he'll win by knockout. And um, it's just the power will be too much for Bernard Hopkins. And... Um, Kovalev's more clever than you think. He sets up his punches more better than you think. He's not, you could say he's one dimensional, but I think he's more than that. I think he's more um, dimensional. I think the way he sets up his punches and his boxing skills are underrated. So, anyway, the weigh in was good. Good face off. Don't miss the fight tomorrow, November 8th, tomorrow, Saturday night on HBO. It is not a pay per view. It is free. It could have been pay per view, but it's not. And, um, um, Hopkins weighs in at 173 and a half pounds. Kovalev, um, 174 and a half pounds. And this is for the WBA, WBO, and IBF titles. Unification belt. Don't miss it tomorrow. Who do you think will win the fight? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And um, let me know your prediction. And thanks for watching.